we're going to go on a little journey today. A fun little journey. I'm going to demonstrate something. I've been reading on Facebook and I see a lot of different posts from a lot of different people. and I comment on very few, but one of the ones that caught my eye was a post about what it would be like if you could run yourself some 25-volt uh, transistors, that, you know, the 2SC 2510. Well, that took me back about three years, and three years ago I, I did this little experiment. I bought every bipolar transistor there was on the market between the 6-volt and the 50-volt where they run out at, and I built an amplifier around them. So I thought I'd revisit that so we could have a little bit of fun. So amp number 1538 2-pill, 2SC 2510. The 2510's a neat little device. So you get it to focus up. Come on, focus. Focus. There we go. It's a neat little device. For those of you who are not familiar with the 2510, it runs on 24 volts. Now, the reason we're doing this is because I want to show what it actually does in real world operation. Okay. Now, I put pictures of this up on Facebook last night, and it's really interesting. You, you got these these other guys that are builders that uh, come crawling out of the woodwork, and they've all got comments. Well, okay, good for your comments. Show me a picture of what you've done. Or show me video after video after video after video on the topic to which I am speaking. Otherwise, pause. It's all hearsay. Unless you can back it up with something in tangible proof, it's an opinion. And everybody's entitled to those. But it gets a little silly. Okay, so one of the things that I took away from a couple of the comments is they said I'd never get more than 150 watts RMS out of this. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. But I also wanted to answer a couple questions for everybody out there. Um, nobody's ever done this out on Front Street. That's the main reason. Nobody's ever done one of these and said, here it is. Let's take a picture of it. And if you have, hey, great for you. I'm proud of you. Good job. Did you put a video up? You make it out there for public review? Did you show everybody the design? No. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm not bragging. This is 30-year-old technology. I propped it up and made it work for, well, the band that we all love to use. And I'm making it out there for a reference for everybody else. Now, what I built was a dual-powered cabinet. Okay? These little leads here, they carry the 12-volt. That's what runs the relay, the fan in the future, your on-off switch, your LED, so forth. These leads here go strictly to the amp deck portion of the amplifier. And there are what power the transistors. Today we're going to use the one pill 2290 from the bench. We're going to run at 14 volts off the bench power supply. We're going to use the Galaxy 66, which uses push pull transistors. We're going to use the Striker 955, which uses MOSFETs. You're going to use the fluke meter, which is hooked up directly to the amp deck board. We're going to use a 1,000 watt coaxial dynamic slug and PEP on the right, a 1,000 watt coaxial dynamic slug on the left in RMS. So this meter on the left is always going to read RMS, and this one on the right is always going to read PEP. The first thing we're going to do is show you voltage. We're going to go from 14 to 18 and show you the wattage output with the 66 driving it, and then we'll alternate with the 2290 pushing it. This is all push pull. So, this is where we're going to establish our RMS meter readings. Because when we go to MOSFET, because we all understand how the stage of linearity works, anyhow, we'll see a little bit less RMS. Okay. Amplifier off. Grabbing a mic for the 66. We're going to go up in here. Hello. Audio. Pop 11, 12, maybe if I yell in at 14, 13, 14 watts into the box. Let's turn the amp on. We're 14 volts going in. Hello, audio. Hello, BBI. 
So we're getting 80 watts RMS, and we're getting 200 on the peak side, 2.2 times. I'm going to go down here to my power supply. We're going to click it up a couple notches. And now we're running at 15.6. Okay. Remember, this is 20 watts worth of drive. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. So now we're getting 90, 95 watts RMS. It's still about 200 P. Hello, audio. Let's shut this off. Let's establish a baseline for the 2290 real quick. Peak power at 100 watts. RMS at about 45. At Okay. Now we've come up a little bit in voltage. We've already established, yes, it works fine on 14 volts. We're going to drive this with about 50 watts peak, 100 watts, or 100 watts peak. 50 watts RMS. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. And if you look on the side of your left there, you will see that we're doing about 110. Hello, audio. On the RMS side, we're doing about 380. Here's our voltage. Hello, audio. On 15 volts. Come back down here once again. Click that up two more notches. Well, we're going to go to 17.6. Now, this is normally where everybody starts to get a little bit sketchy. Shut the two pill off, or the one pill. We're going to shut and leave the two pill on. 17.6 is now where you're starting to flirt with the danger zone with the 2879. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. Now we're almost at a full 100 watts RMS, we're about 220, and that's with 20 watts worth of drive. Turn the 2290 on. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. Well, I've already beat the 150 watt mark. I'm about 160 now, and I got a whole lot more voltage I'm going to pour to it. So I'm going to reach down here, I'm going to max out the power supply in this setting. Should you just be about 18 volts. Turn the 2290 off again, hit it with just a straight 20 watts. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. So now we're right at 100 RMS and about 225 peak. We're going to turn the 2290 back on. Hello, Audio. Hello. Audio. We're at 160, 150 RMS. And now we're cruising over the 400 watt mark. Now give me just a minute, and we'll be right back. We'll move some jumpers on my power supply, and we're going to continue all the way out to 26 volts. Okay. You guys remember when we jumped out of this? We're at 18.9. We're now at 25 volts. It's going to drop to a little bit below that, but this is exactly where this device was meant to run, 25 volts. Okay? Hello, audio. 300 watts, PEP. Hello, audio. Just about at O audio, 210 RMS. We're going to kick it with 100 watts more drive. At O audio, at O BBI. It's 200 RMS. At O at about 550. Let's turn it up a notch. We'll go up another full volt. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. 
straight 600. We'll run it back down here with the 2290 off. But oh, audio. The point is, I can run this at 27 volts and have no fear. These cost less than the 2879. If you guys haven't noticed, yesterday the price of the 2879 went up five more bucks. Forty-five dollars before shipping, boys and girls, for a 2879 12 volt device. We're gonna get the right device for the right voltage for all you guys that volt. You can run 20 volts into this all day long. Talk with those kind of numbers. And let me show you something really cool. This is what I'm going to show you. It's pretty cool. We jumped over to the 955 real quick. Turn that off. Turn that off. We're going to go down in here and establish a baseline. Hello, audio. Look at the RMS meter. Hello, audio. We're halfway reading. Anyhow, we're going to put 80 watts of drive into the 2290 into two 2510s on 26 volts. Watch this. That's 790 watts. But that's where it's designed to run. Just like when we go to a 50 volt part and I can get 1200 watts out of that. It's running at 50 volts. Pulls less amperage, produces more power. Ohm's law, baby. I've heard a lot of that lately too and amazes me how people can never take into account the efficiency of the part or they don't have the proper voltage or they don't know what parts they're talking about. But BBI, 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 BBI. Enough said. Point proven. 2SC 2510. Toshiba. At 25 volts. 800 watts of power. My name is BBI. Without a shadow of a doubt, I am the biggest mud duck in Idaho. I appreciate everybody watching. And yeah, I'll probably end up selling this thing. So give me a call. Remember, it runs on 14 volts all the way out to 27. <laughs> I appreciate everybody's support. I hope this was fun for everybody to watch. Bump, bump. I'll see ya.